welcome people. Welcome to The Breakdown with Nath and Johnny. You've already seen the title, you know who it is, but you've got to earn it. You might not know who it is. If you're unfamiliar with The Ghost Inside, do yourself a favour. Do a deep dive after you watch this video. The Ghost Inside are like... The Ghost Inside... The Ghost? The, the, the Ghost, ghost Inside are one of the bands I really recommend you checking out, yes. I don't do the accents in this channel, that's Johnny's job. Yeah, because I'm better at them. <laughs> <laughs> Almost came out my yeah. notes, eh? On the oh, weekend, anyway. we went and watched You Meet Six play, and Johnny was doing his accents for me and his girlfriend beforehand, and they were terrible. Nope, they were great. As usual. No, nope, they were great. Anyway. anyway, that was a fun night. Uh, look forward to some content coming from that one soon. But anyway, The Ghost Inside, if you don't know, are a melodic, hardcore, metalcore band. Been around for quite some time. Uh, famously went through a tragic accident where it really fucked the band up, and it's a miracle that they're all back here number one, alive, and still playing music, so... When they released their, like, comeback single, we weren't doing the channel then. No. I teared up watching it, because I was just, like, so overcome with emotion and proud of those dudes for, like, overcoming tragedy and still, like, kind of coming through strong. Yeah, 100%. That line in one of their songs being, like, life's swinging hard, but I'm swinging harder. Hot damn. Oh, yeah, this band are the epitome of, like, super aggressive music but with a really positive message for the most part. If only there was a playlist called Angry Music for Happy People that people could listen to that was representative of that. Ching ching! I have a playlist called that. It's down in the description. You can check it out. Put your headphones on. I'll listen to this. By the way, fuck y'all. Not the ghost one. The rest of you. Whoa. Because, because, whenever we're like, oh, the, the song came out a while ago, and we've heard it, we're going to do it, you guys are like, we're so disappointed in you for not doing a first reaction. So, we've been sitting on this for like a week, waiting to be together so we can do this. So you get a genuine first reaction. If you don't show the love and support on this... We've been sitting on it so long, it looks like this. No, it's much more we, attractive than our that. Our asses ate the buttons off it. Just want to point out, my cushion doesn't look like that because I don't have It's any... because Nathan doesn't like get into the music as much as I do. I'm just rocking and rolling and, you know, my butt cheeks are I have a much neater button, squeezing. Johnny. Three, two, one. I'm not the only thing on this chunky channel now. Wait, I'm not the only chunky thing on this <laughs> well, I'm right not down. the only thing on this chunky channel. We're fat. Uh, uh, the it has a little bit of like a wage warry vibe to the production there, like a bit synthy in the background. Oh, so you've got a long hair there. Don't worry, got you. Is it attached? Oh, that was attached for a second. Is it, I'm not sure if it was. But that's backing. Love the symbolism of that hammer there because they really nailed that clean chorus. Uh, oh, I thought you were making a symbols joke. Symbolism? Yeah, it no, was it, was a, it was a two far. Uh, I'm glad you got it, man. Well done. <laughs> Just giving you your own jokes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, touching on the wage war thing, I, I don't think that chorus necessarily sounds like a wage war style, but interesting to hear them lean into such a, like, you know, heavy verse clean chorus thing it's not Who's something the that they do often. The yeah. is it jim i know jim does it all live i'm just not okay. sure if he does it on album sure so Sounds good and i'm pretty sure chris does a lot of the clean like harmonies as well so watch some I actually watched some footage of them in the jam room uh, a few months back and it sounded fucking great uh, live with all seen, the so yeah good. backings and Production nuances there. I 
um, no I'm pausing in a chorus there the guitar tone changed for that bit there and it had a bit more of like an OG Ghost Aside sound to the guitars to start with I said that it had a total difference it, it, like you said very chunky yeah it sort of sounded a little bit more metal corey mm-hmm Classic fucking breakdown you did, and you did it if you want it, go get it. new swing on their sound obviously Virgil has such a like iconic vocal style that super strong mid-range there were some new modern sort of production notes in that that they haven't had in the past which I think mm. elevate a little bit it's hard when you've got bands like I said like Wage War they're the, one, the ones that really are doing it and really flying the flag at the moment for that sound and so it's hard not to kind of draw similarities between yeah them. absolutely yeah yeah but they still sound like them one of the things that goes sort of known for those like huge breakdowns all those like big call and response style breakdowns as well yeah johnny will never miss a goes inside drop <laughs> yeah I, I gotta thank the boys for for sticking to the the stock standard drop in there it always works though it hits it every does. time you go yeah. you go mm, yep that got me yeah um yeah look I, so I said I really like it because I want that to be the first point. I really like it. it <laughs> Here's what really I hated. Good. I'm a little concerned that it was a little bit too safe for me. Do you think that could be? Because we talked about this when we checked out the first single from Story of the Year when they came back with their new album and we're like, it's a safe song. And that can be a record label thing of being like, we need you to bring in the exact audience you already have. We need to get are them they, on board. Are they new to Epitaph or? I don't know. Not that Epitaph have ever really been known to push bands to a more mainstream sound. Obviously, you know, having bands like Every Time I Die and stuff like that. Yeah, so my issue is not even that it's too safe. It's that, are they going to go more for this safe route of the, you know, every song being a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, interlude or breakdown, final chorus? Because I don't, you know, as a selfish fan, I don't want to hear that from them. Selfish because, man. Selfish man. I don't want to hear that from them because... One of the issues I had there was it was, it was so formulaic, sure. and I, I I like the excitement of Ghost Inside. I also like the fact that they were quite good at utilizing the two guitars throughout mm -hmm. that whole thing. It sounded like the two guitars did the same thing. Agreed. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I was just like, like where's those sort that melodic? The the thing that I really loved about Ghost Inside was that they had these crushing riffs, but there was always those really melodic octave chords or picked you know moments behind it that gave it this whole different sound and that's why there are, there are not many other bands that do this melodic hardcore thing that I love as much as the ghost inside that was lacking as much as I love hearing a bigger lean into the clean choruses that was lacking a lot of the things I loved about their back catalog that's right. I am keen to hear on an album or an EP where they go um it would just kill me a little bit if they fell into the verse chorus first chorus trap Okay. Because I also, as much as that was a good chorus, 
it's not like a chorus, you know, where a band like Wage War or Bad Omens or someone like that, you're like, oh, holy fuck, like this this vocal melody is insane. You know, yeah. it's it's quite safe, quite simple. Not that that's a bad thing because they haven't done a lot of that. I'm just, yeah, I'm keen to hear it in the context of another bunch of songs that they release. That's fair enough. What did you guys think of Own It, the brand new single from The Ghost Inside? If you haven't heard them before, did that make you want to go check them out? Um, if you are familiar with the band, did that tick the boxes that you wanted? Comment below, let us know your thoughts, and we'll see you guys in... The future. Box. Oh. What? I don't know, I'm thinking of something different from future. What box? The box. Oh, the box. Yeah, the one. Yeah, that one. The special one. I love that Johnny's head just turned into a box. Damn it. We're in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so bad.